The interesting about 99 Rob Gronkowski is that he actually is one of the worst tight ends in Madden right now, but it just looks pretty because he's gold and, you know, that's pretty much what everybody's looking for is the highest overall cards because most of us, our ultimate goal is to go after a 99 overall team. I will point out that all of his stats, specifically uh, the 95 speed, is not true speed, all right? I don't care about whatever kind of debate you guys want to have. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm not going to go into it. He just doesn't move like that. He's not anywhere near as fast as the way other people at 95 speed is. Now, you could add in the fact about his weight, all that stuff like that. But ultimately, he does. He, he's a snail, pretty much. And um, over the last couple of days, while I've been streaming Madden live on Twitch, you guys can go check that out if you would like via uh, G Myers World. He's completely shown that he's useless, right? We're not going to get rid of him yet, though. We're not going to power him down. For a lot of us that was able to get the house rules version, um, he's going to be useful later. Only because you're going to need two 99 tight ends, most likely, to get the 99 overall team. I'm just waiting for a few other pieces because I don't want to rush into doing other things and just interchanging players. I want my team the way it's supposed to be as a legend squad. So I'm just waiting and being patient. Obviously, there's other ways to be a 99 overall team already, but this is the way uh, you know this is the way that I'm taking. I don't want to go out of my way and start interchanging the you know the pieces of my team and then like yo bro. Uh, what am I going to do because this guy sucks now? Then I got to rate, rate sell somebody else. I'm trying to wait it out a little bit. So this is the ultimate goal. All right, guys? What we're going to do right now is this. We're going to take a, take a look at what's going on with the team and what I plan to do. Now, some of you guys have spoke about Vernon Davis. Uh, Shea Sharp is an option because I'm probably, you know, ultimately going to get rid of Jerry Rice. But this is what I want to do. If you look at my right side with the go deep, and, and this is something that's going to be very informative to like my, my, new, uh, my new subscribers and also my veterans. We have to know what we're going to be dealing with come Madden 20 as far as our chemistry. So this is very important. This year, the Rising Stars didn't have that big of an appeal on the game. But for me right now, I need these Rising Stars to do certain things for me. Let me explain to you what I need them to do. They have to be able to uphold specific traits that I'm currently using, like the zone run. Like this guy right here is useless. He will never, ever see a snap. I don't care if my right tackle that start and dies on the field. This guy will never see a snap, but he's useful because he has plus six zone run. So why do I have him with that plus six zone run? I need that right now to contribute to what I'm doing with Barry Sanders, because Barry Sanders, if I switch him to Legend Chem right now, even though Legend Chem is maxed out, he won't achieve the 99 overall. So let me go back and show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to his actual chem chart to where, like, you know, you upgrade and power up and all that stuff like that and show you what I'm talking about. This is what happens. If I make him um, legend chem, right? Legend, where is it? Uh, legends passing, right? Because he probably would have to be legends rushing in order to get everything that you get from the zone run because I believe uh, one of these adds spin move, right? No, this is all stiff arm. So you probably wouldn't get it from this either. It probably would have to be balanced offense with the spin move because that's what helps to contribute to it. So look, when I add Legend Passing to him, he goes down to a 98. You see what I'm saying? But then my Legend Passing tier increases by three, obviously, because we just added the three. So for now, I need the zone run to actually be there to keep him at a 99. That's the only reason that I need those other parts, the rising stars and everything like that, to be where they are. Now, this is what we're going to do, though. Rob Gronkowski is going to stay, but we're going to have to interchange our rising star players. So look, you see like this guy right here, OJ Howard? If we're going to keep Gronk and Kittle and get another tight end that we're talking about, like just trying to get somebody else that just moves a little bit faster, you guys have brought up Vernon Davis several times. We're going to go take a look at his card in a second. This guy is going to have to be removed because we're going to need three tight ends. So what does that mean? We're going to go over here. J.J. Watt, to me, is absolutely useless, right? So what does this guy contribute to? What does he have? He has go deep. And then he's he's contributing to one zone run. So we're going to have to actually add, uh, we're going to have to get rid of this guy also, the Jason Kelsey, and put our other rising star fullback in to get that zone run back. So let me just show you guys what we're talking about. Because that guy has zone run and he had to lead the way, we, we originally had this guy there. And you can see right here, he had, uh, what is that? I think he had um, he had another chem on him. I think he had power run or something like that. So now look, you see what happens? Zone run goes down here, and we're missing all that stuff right now. So what we're going to do with the rising star, the thing that's unique about them, like I've been telling you guys, that makes them you know, pretty much something that you want to have, 
Now I can just go ahead and interchange it. So I'll give him zone run, and then I'll also give him go deep. You see what I'm saying? So that way, when we get rid of the other tight end, it won't matter. So now he has those two chems, and we could put him back in the lineup because we know that the other cards, like the one that Jason Kelsey had just put there, the lead the way on him doesn't really matter. It's a joke. So now we go back to J.J. Watt because we know he also sucks. And you can see with the zone run, we're already up plus one and go deep is plus three. So look, in all honesty, I have the Tariq Cohen right here. I can just put him in with all go deep if I wanted. You see what I'm saying? I can just go right here. Before previously I had him with another chem, I can put him in there with like go deep on him and then I'm just done with it. So let's go ahead and do that now because um, when we get rid of the tight end who has all go deep, we're going to be missing that. So we'll go here, we'll go over to chemistry, zone run and everything is good, we'll go back and we'll put go deep on him. Alright, so go deep right there, add that to him, and then uh, we'll add go deep again. So now he has plus 6 go deep. He's all the way down to an 88, but we don't care about that because we're not using him in the game. He will never ever see a snap. But now that frees up everything for us to be able to get our third tight end. Because Rob, Gon Rob Gronkowski, he's garbage, but he gets legend chem. So that's very, very huge for us. Now you see that we have the plus nine with go deep on the tear, right? When we get rid of this guy that holds whatever he holds as far as the, um, he holds six, right? I believe he holds six. So now we won't have an issue. We'll still have the go deep. And you might be saying, Jemai, what what's the point? Why do you keep go deep? It doesn't matter. Actually, it does. Because Kyler Murray, even though he's a gold 99, it actually helps you to have um, the go deep chem on him to make him even that more powerful. Now, you can look at his numbers right there, and you can compare them to Cam Newton's. And yeah, you'll see that they're all in blue and that they're chemmed, but Kyler Murray actually plays a lot better than Cam Newton in this game. It's weird. I don't know how to explain it. Some of you guys had issues about his height, but I don't know what it is about Michael Vick. I told you guys my theory. Because a lot of us pretty much got Michael Vick for free, if you were playing uh, Madden in, uh, you know, during the Christmas season, you pretty much got Michael Vick for free. Because they gave you everything that you needed to get them. You probably had to sell a couple things in your lineup to get some of the snow currency to do whatever. But he was pretty much free, which is why he's a trash card right now. And typically, he'll throw the ball into the back of the lineman's helmets. All of you guys know what I'm talking about. Write it in the comments. Has he ever done that to you? Yes or no? Michael Vick regularly throws the ball into the back of people's helmets. This guy is actually shorter than Vick, and he doesn't do that. So, and he, he still has the same gunslinger on and everything like that. So, the, this is the reason why I have the go deep to the max tier of tier six is to bring the most out of Kyler Murray because giving him all those stats, it just makes him an unbelievable card. You see what I'm saying? 99 throw deep. I'm pretty much usually always throwing deep. So, that gives me a better, um, you know, accuracy point for where I'm getting the ball to. And it's just easier for me to be able to do that. Now, if you guys don't have Kyler Murray, I don't know what to say to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm just pretty much telling you what I'm doing. So now that we've set it up where go deep and the zone run is going to be fine. You can go to the right side right there. You see the zone run is fine and go deep is there. And the player that we're going to be replacing has go deep. Now from this point, we can go look at tight ends and see what we're looking at. Now, primarily we would want our player to have height and spin. Dallas Clark, we tried him out. The dude sucks because he was very, very short and he wasn't able to get a lot of things done for us. He was an absolutely terrible card. That's fine. We're not going to worry about that anymore. We're going to go over to power up. We're going to look at um, type and we're going to go to tight end. All right. So when we go to tight end, all right, um, first of all, this is, what, this is what I want you guys to see. As far as, as far as Gronkowski goes, for the most part, he's one of the best tight ends in the game when you just look at it. I just want to make sure I point it out, especially for you guys that have the New York, I mean, not the New York, the, um, the New England Patriots theme teams. I've already inquired with several people that has him up to a 98 speed. He still moves slower than Gary the Snell from SpongeBob. So that, look, I'm not just making this up. A lot of you guys already know that. Um, even with the 98, George Kittle at 97 speed moves faster than him. Just generally, just because he's faster to begin with. All right, so I just wanted to point that out. Make sure everybody's on the same page with it. If you guys want to go after that, if that's something that you're looking to do, and you still want Rob Gronkowski, maybe because of the run block or whatever, that's fine. I do want to point out, though, that he couldn't truck a dead roach. All right? So when you look at the fact that his trucking is very low and stuff like that, like, this guy does it, look, whatever, bro. Shannon Sharp, it is what it is, but there's other tight ends that you guys can look at 
to see if you you know if you if you are also having issues with him you know like even like a Jeremy Shockey um you know he has a decent spin move stuff like he could probably do some things we could take a look at him as well Jared Cook some of you guys have been talking about telling me that he's really really good um and then Vernon Davis I don't think I have his power up right do I have Vernon Davis's power up a lot of you guys have been saying yo Vernon Davis is the goat all right but let's take a look at Jeremy Shockey's card all right cuz now when you if we do it from this aspect Remember, we have the possibility of going straight legend status. Now, this is going to change in a couple days. Uh, when you like, for one week from when he's released, you're going to be able to use training points to get that 99. Is he worth it? You see that trucking number right there? That trucking is really, really serious. Now, the spin move being at an 87, a lot of you guys might be like, "Yo, it's under the threshold of 88." I'm well aware of that. He'll still, he'll still spin though. He'll still spin like everybody else. So it's not a big deal. If you know what you're doing with the spin move and you time it right, he'll get that spin move off. So he might be somebody that we could go after that's also a legend and also a 99. Okay, just, just so that we point that out. Now, if we decide not to go that way, because remember, the 99, I think it's like, it's a lot of training points. We have like 40K. It wouldn't cost us that much to do it, but I don't know if I want to go that route. I'm just giving you guys some examples of what we could do to actually replace it. Now, Jared Cook, this guy... I've heard a lot of good stuff about, all right? Now, when you look at his card right here, trucking is a 69. He has spin, though, 85. It's not all that, but it is what it is. 91 speed, that's not bad. You know what I'm saying? And you might be saying, but yeah, but you just said Gronkowski has that speed, and this chem, and he's garbage. Yeah, that's all factual. But that's because Gronkowski is a free card, and EA doesn't care about your problems. Now, from looking at that, the Vernon Davis... That's the card that a lot of you, like, like you guys probably going to be writing in the comments, like, yo, Vernon Davis, yo, Vernon Davis. Everybody that I've asked about a tight end to replace that particular card in Rob Gronkowski, all of you guys have been yelling Vernon Davis. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go to the auctions and the trades, and we're going to look up Vernon Davis, and we're going to see what's going on, and, uh, you know, see if it's worth it for us to go that route. Because if it is, then we could just sell some stuff in our binder and go that route and see if that really makes a difference with what's going on. Um, let me see. Okay, Vernon Davis. All right, let's do that. Okay, so his power-up is 31. All right, so let's go ahead and snatch that up, see what's going on with him. Because if he can do all of those things, it wouldn't make it, you know what I'm saying? It would make sense for us to go after him, keep the grunk at a 99, and I think this guy gets upgraded to about a 99, I believe. It might be blue chem, but I think he does go to a 99. So he might be the guy that we go after. All right, so yeah, he goes all the way up to a 98. So now, this is a situation, right? 93 speed stock, 95 acceleration. He has an 85 truck, so you're not really trucking nobody. But his spin move is an 87, all right? Every single person that I've spoken to about this card has said that it's really, really good. Before I go wild and actually get it, though, I want you guys to vote on it. Do you think he would add something, a new dimension to the squad? Um, you know... I, I already know, looking at his numbers right here, he's going to move a lot faster just in general. It's just going to be what it is. He's going to just move a lot faster. So that that being said, it might be something that we should go after. And that way we have three tight ends like to just end the year with. But Grunk will be like, he'll be the second, uh, you know, the second string tight end, but he actually won't play. He's just there to have the two tier 99s. Because I don't know if they're going to release another tight end other than another Kittle that's going to be as fast and, and, and have spin like Vernon. Because that's really good spin move right there, that 87. All right, so you guys can go ahead and vote on it. Before I let you guys go, we're going to check what's going on with this actually, uh, what is actual um, combine card. Because what, what, what's that actually going for? You know what I'm saying? That's going to be a huge factor too. Oh, he, there's not even one there. So how are we supposed to get his combine card? Yeah, that's going to be tough. It, yo, he, he must be that dude then. Because if, if that card is not available, that's wild. You know what I'm saying? And then EA doesn't give you an option to actually um, to get it, you know, otherwise through training points with those with those combine cards. So it looks like we would have to go back and, and literally do a set. We would have to do a set in order to accomplish that goal. So let's go and check that out real quick and see what we would have to do. So combine, we would have to, okay, combine master, a nat combine star. We can't do that one anymore. That one's over. All right, so it would have to be the tight end right here to earn a random 97 combine star from day two. That looks like the only way we'd, we would be able to get it at this point, which is kind of stupid, if I do say so myself. 
yeah, this is kind of stupid. Because if we don't get him and we keep trying to, you know what I'm saying? That might be kind of difficult. But now I see that you guys might be right. He might be that glitchy. He just might be. But we, it's always a way around it. Not a big deal. We can gamble with it and just get rid of the cards, you know, over and over again and try to figure it out. But I just want to know what you guys are thinking. If, you know, if that's a suitable replacement for Rob Gronkowski. Let me know. Leave it in the comments. I'm going to talk to you guys and girls next time. One love.